but just how putrid the Arizona Cardinals looked. And there was this point in the at the end of the first half where they didn't even try to like go down and score. They were just like, we're done. And I saw someone mention this, just like, how how is a team does that look? If you don't even want to fight, your head coach don't want to fight. And I'm sorry, like, where's the assholeness in Kyler? You always talk about Derek Carr is too nice a guy. Yeah. Where's Kyler Murray cussing out O-linemen, cussing out <laughs> the receivers like, hey, we're going to win this game. Like, where's the Tom Brady fire from Kyler? <laughs> like, I wish I saw. I feel like Kyler, we were critical of him last year. Remember the last game where he just was yeah. looking on the sideline? And I was like, bro, you got to go out there and play hurt. I'm laughing. I'm laughing, Max, is because on the Manning cast last night, Russell Wilson was one of the guests. And he was, I guess they asked him, like, what would you be saying to your team right now if you're in Kyler's situation? He was like, I'll be in the guy's face on the sideline telling them we're still in this, guys. Like, let's go having some faith. They cut the camera to Kyler, bro. Straight up nice. nothing on the bench, just like, we fucking suck. Like, I think that's the it person. Was I think timing. we always talk about how coaches have personality traits passed on to their teams, right? Like if your team is like a grinder, like if the coach is a grinder, the team's a grinder. What does it say about Cliff Kingsbury? One that when the going gets tough, he, they don't get going, and that's that's what I left this game from. And Kyler made the worst throw in NFL history. Almost, I want to say like it's top five worst decisions and throws. The yeah. underhand lollipop for a pick six that went one yard, right. That was awful. It's just, it's, it was just a nightmare for them, bro. A nightmare if tough. you're an Arizona fan. It's just a nightmare if you like Kyler, if you like Cliff. And I mean, going into year four, I mean, Cliff's ass is on the hot seat now. It's going to get real hot in Arizona. Look, you got to look at Steve Klein, the GM. This is, if Cliff is gone, he'll be on his fourth coach. Bruce Arians kind of fell in his lap, essentially. Uh, Steve Wilkes hiring for one year, absolute David Cully. disaster. Dave Cully, yeah, right the there. David yep. Cully of that year, and then Cliff Kingsbury, who I think is on the hot seat. I would agree with you, Max, and I wouldn't be surprised if he got fired. Like, still, I know it's been a couple of days, and it's probably not going to happen, but it will not surprise me at all if he got fired. And it's it's tough, man, because I really do feel like Kyler should be held accountable. <laughs> Can you click my mu- comment real quick? What, what is it? Let me the see. Shortest pick six in playoff history. <laughs> Get it? Oh, I know. Like money. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that. <laughs> yeah, and we we bring up Murray. I I just feel like. I don't think Murray's getting enough criticism as he should. I think right now, as memorabilia is saying, like the scapegoat right now is Cliff Kingsbury, which I don't like. Yeah, he definitely like deserves some criticism of, you know, the the bad start, the the bad finishes the last two years. But Kyler Murray, when it comes down to it, I think his hype plays in the factor, bro. Like last night, I really seen it. Or or Monday night. Monday night, I really seen it with his hype. Like it really affected the game. And I just felt like he got overwhelmed. Now, there's so many other things that you can throw at it. First playoff game, you know, they were out. DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins out. All all the above, bro. But this is what? Year three, Max, Mm -hmm. of Kyler Murray? This guy's on a rookie contract. You know, he's going into the season where you're already starting to think of, is this guy a max quarterback? And the fact that you're putting it all on Cliff Kingsbury, you got to look at Kyler Murray and be careful that you don't pay this guy all this fucking money and you're not certain that he's an elite quarterback. It scares the shit out of me. If I'm a GM or owner, whoever the case is for the Cardinals in general. And that's what you got to look at, because by by this time, like by year three, you kind of got to know, like, this guy is good or not. You can't be in the middle of things. You got to know. There's no question, though, he's good. There's no question that Kyler Murray's good. But oftentimes, and we've talked about this a lot, elite talent is a different thing than an elite player. 
Tom Brady's an elite quarterback. He sliced and diced the Eagles. Joe Burrow's an elite quarterback. In big games, these dudes come out to play. And Kyler, he didn't come out to play. I understand it's a lot on him. But this is one of the most talented quarterbacks we have in the terms of physical traits. And I just looked up their height. Russell Wilson's 5'11". It says Kyler's 5'10". But, man, there's never been a big game where I was like, man, Russell Wilson looks tiny out there. He looks scared. And I understand the different body types like Russ is built. But Kyler is just like he's small. And what the Rams do when they kept him in the pocket and then they swallowed him up. And it was just like maybe. And I don't know if you saw this one. He looked like hesitant to run. And yeah. I've been reading stuff like towards the second half of the year, his run attempts always go down. And maybe that's just like 180 pound guy getting smashed week in and week out. And he's like, week one, one, you're like, damn, I haven't been touched all year. I feel good. And week 15, you're like, damn, my, my shoulder's sore. I don't want to get hit. And part of what makes Kyler so dynamic is his running. And it just doesn't seem like he had much chances to run. And he was timid to run. And I understand the Rams are a great team. But Kyler's a great player. And when you're a great player, you get held to a great expectation. And like we, me and you said, the end of last year and the end of this year are alarming yeah. when it comes to extending this guy. What are you going to give him? $500 million? Exactly. What are you do? That's what I'm saying. It's scary to think about. And you asked me this question in October. I think everyone around the NFL circle is like, what kind of fucking question is that? Kyler Murray is an MVP candidate. Like, he's a top 10 quarterback, no doubt. You pay him that money. But this is a full NFL season. This is why we go through the whole season, Max. It's for situations like this. Guys can look good. You got your Carolina Panthers. You got your Kyler Murrays and the Arizona Cardinals. But it's how you finish. And it's how you play in big games. This is Kyler Murray's first big game since college. Playoff game. And he folded to me. So I'm not I'm going to finish this off in saying I'm out on Cliff. <laughs> I'm out on Cliff for sure. I'm on the edge on Kyler. I'm yeah. not going to lie. So I'm when on the you edge. were week weeks 1 through 7 with Kyler was like, "Damn, next coming." And now you're like, "Yes. Is it coming?" 